Are you in on watching NBA players play horse? Okay, we've reached an awfully depressing place way too fast. When we thought of last resort options, we've already burned these guys playing video games. I thought that that was the last resort option on entertainment, but these guys playing video games is now something we've burned, and now it's horse. Horse is in the game. What can we do watching NBA players do? We can watch them playing horse. Guys, I don't know how much worse this is going to get because we've started the bidding in an incredibly sad place. I would watch these dudes play horse every single week. If you told me that there was an NBA horse game of the week every Sunday, I would watch one every Sunday. And I feel to a degree that this would be very important because what we're going to be able to do is smoke out to people who claim to like basketball but really just like doing math. If you are not intrigued by the idea of the greatest players in the world pulling off shots that you could never imagine, I'd watch them shoot half-court shots. They're amazing at doing that. This is going to be amazing athletes doing amazing things and I am begging the people behind this let them bet on it and let them bet on it in front of us and make them bring cash I want to know who's going to show up with the hefty bag yeah I'm with you Bo I, I'm not as depressed by this as you Dan like this is actually pretty interesting it's something I'm looking forward to watching I, I'm not sure that I think people think that creativity happens in just open space, but restrictions, like we have these current restrictions, it's led to this creativity that allows us to have this. And I think the trash talk is gonna be fun. And I think us regaining a, a respect for how good these guys are. I played basketball when I was in Denver, uh, Birdman was suspended. You remember Birdman, the big man for, uh, for the Heat? He was suspended out there in Denver, so he would come play basketball with the football team. He's a guy that they don't allow to shoot. He could not miss from three-point <laughs> land, from anywhere. He could handle the ball better than all of us. I think this will be an opportunity for us all to be reminded, these guys are so great at this. It's going to be kind of fun. And that's why I'm saying we're going to smoke out the herbs that don't actually like basketball. Y'all are out here. Y'all got way too much country in this. If you can't appreciate this, you ain't really got no love of the game. Okay, but you have escalated to a point where we're not going to get. First, if you tell me, yes, we're going to get the authentic, unfiltered, undistilled profanity and trash talk, and beyond that, that what you're giving me is stacks of cash for money. These guys aren't going to give up their images. You know how much they gamble on these games? There ain't going to be guys I out know. there showing you $20,000 in Maybe. cash during a pandemic. Maybe not in front of us. And if that's the case, Dan, then broke boys can't apply, right? There's enough dudes in the league that got enough cash that you little minimum salary dudes. Like, no disrespect, Derrick Jones Jr. I saw you playing in the 2K tournament. Chances are you can't come participate in this horse tournament if you ain't willing to bring these stacks. And if you ain't got these stacks, get your weight up, and then the next <laughs> pandemic, you can come out here and you can play horse. Uh, get your weight up for the next pandemic. I like that's that right. as, a, as a slogan for the next one. I feel like that should be everybody's slogan, right? Get your <laughs> well, weight up for the next pandemic. Already. It's my slogan. It's not the weight I'm talking about. <laughs> oh.